Bill Murray spotted on location for Ghostbusters 3? I gotta call Bill and ask him this, man. Come on. Hey, Bill. Is it true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Finally, oh finally, the final Ghostbuster has joined the chat. Hey guys, my name is Chris and around here we talk everything and anything movie related. That includes the Ghostbusters reboot slash sequel coming out in summer of 2020. I have a full playlist on my channel where we've been keeping up to date with everything going on in this movie. Before continuing on with this story, I want to make something perfectly clear, guys. I am not trying to be some sort of reporter or scoop king. I consider myself a commentary channel. I just comment on the news i make it my job to make it as accurate as possible for you guys but in no way am i trying to be a journalist however thanks to some super ghostbuster fans out there and you know what ghostbusters don't have a name for themselves harry potter has potter heads but ghostbusters don't really have that so you know what bus nuts wait but as I was saying, super fans Chris and Keith, who have been following the production of the Ghostbusters as they're shooting in Calgary, Canada, also provided some nice set photos here for us to witness, having the Ecto-1 being chased by a police car. That's going to be pretty fun to see in the movie. But they have confirmed with me with confidence that Bill Murray is there right now filming his scenes for Ghostbusters 3. And I wasn't going to believe it. And then he showed me this footage. That right there is so clearly Dan Aykroyd sitting next to Bill Murray in the hotel where all the stars who are filming Ghostbusters 3 are currently staying at. This is a big piece of news because us Ghostbusters fans were really worried. Because on September 12th, Dan Aykroyd was on the Joe Rogan podcast where he talked a little bit of Ghostbusters. And he confirmed mainly everybody from the original cast who was still alive would be showing up. However, he did pause when he came to Bill Murray's name and said he hopes he will join. Cue to three days later on September 15th, where again, this footage shows up of Bill Murray in Calgary at a hotel, where my source, Chris and Keith, a bunch of bus nuts, tell me that they are doing soundstage work while Bill Murray will be shooting his scenes for Ghostbusters 2020. If you don't drop a like for Bill Murray being in Ghostbusters, then what are you even doing watching my video? Playing devil's advocate here, I mean, this doesn't 100% confirm he will actually be in the movie, but why else will Bill Murray take a flight all the way to Calgary and join up with the Ghostbusters gang? I'm sure he's friendly with them, but just to have a sit down dinner only for Bill Murray to go, I don't wanna be in your movie, Jason. Thank you though. Pair that up now with the final shots of this Ghostbusters movie is gonna take place in a sound stage where there's usually a lot of green screen use, props and effects, leads me to my next speculation that I'm wondering, is Bill Murray gonna be a ghost? or a human in this movie. I'm gonna go into why either one could possibly be the case, but I want you guys to comment down below, ghost or human for Bill Murray. The reason I believe he could be a ghost is because a long time ago in an interview, I tried my hardest to find the original clip. If you guys do, please link it down below and I'll pin it. Well, Bill Murray always said he'd be willing to do Ghostbusters 3 as long as they turned him into a ghost. Not only would it be cool to see all the Ghostbusters come back, but to have an ally like Peter Venkman as a ghost being inside that world telling the ghostbusters how things work or heck maybe becoming a ghost turns you evil and they have to fight against their own friend that would be some nice little conflict right there and it's also said with this ghostbusters family that we are following played by finn wolfhard and mckenna grace who are more than likely playing the grandchildren of a former ghostbuster all of us are assuming egon since unfortunately harold ramus has passed away in real life and would probably be the best way to explain and continue on the ghostbusters lore if we follow his family but for all we know this could be peter Vankman's grandchildren and then a scene with McKenna Grace and Finn Wolfhard talking to their ghost grandfather that makes for some nice movie storytelling. But then on the opposite side, he could just be playing Peter Venkman in human form along with the other remaining Ghostbusters, Dan Aykroyd and Ernie Hudson. If you play Bill Murray as a ghost, then I guess it leaves the door open to why didn't you make Egon a ghost since he's not around for this picture. And I don't think anybody wants a recreated Harold Ramis on the screen since the actor has passed away. It would be sort of disrespectful. It's just nice to know that the remaining Ghostbusters are attached to this project and will definitely get proper cameos or small roles 
for their continued characters. All respect to the 2016 Ghostbusters movie, but their roles in that film were strangers. We're not Peter Venkman or Ray Stans. It was just a guy in a fedora and a taxi driver. We'll finally get closure on these characters and hopefully they get a happy ending and maybe a passing of the torch to whatever is next in this Ghostbusters universe. So I'm super happy and excited. Thank you again to all you bus nuts out there who are part of this great Ghostbusters community. I'm not getting rid of that name. I don't care how cringy it may be. Anything and everything, you guys go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.